going to start on our backs. So if you guys want to all just lie down and get yourselves as comfortable as you can, try to make sure that your spine is all in one line. So we don't want to make, have it so that your head is tilted back too far. Try and have your neck in line with the rest of your spine. So if you need to put a little, like a, a little pillow or a blanket underneath your head, um, do so or underneath your neck. Just make yourself really, really comfortable. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and start. So good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to this yoga flow practice. It's a gentle yoga class that combines body awareness with the breath and what's going on up there in your minds. So I encourage you just to uh, get comfortable right now on your back. So lie down and wiggle around until you feel comfortable and you feel supported. So you can put a cushion underneath your head if you need to. You want to create some, some softness in the spine. So make sure that your neck, which is part of your spine, is in relationship to the spine. So all in one line. So just allow your arms to rest by your sides. You can bring them out a little bit wider if you like, if that's comfortable. Palms are face up. And your legs are just, bring them where they, they feel comfortable. Just allow the toes just to fall away from each other. So we don't have to be gripping anywhere in the face or in any other part of the body. See if you can soften. And then bring your awareness to the space that you're in. You might be in a different space today. Maybe it's the same space, but it's always just a little bit different. So notice what is going on in your space that you're in, how you're seated. No, you're not seated at all. <laughs> how you're laying down, how it feels, the air around you. Maybe start to pick up on any sensations that are coming around. What do you hear? What do you smell? If you really pay attention, attention, you might notice a bunch of different things that you just didn't notice a few minutes ago. And then draw your awareness a little bit closer to your body that's resting on your mat and begin to do a little scan of that body. So slowly move your attention from one part to another part, noticing different things that might be coming up different sensations, different feelings, maybe different emotions, pretty much anything and anything or everything that wants to come up, allow it to. And when something does come up, take the time to acknowledge it and then allow it to pass. We don't have to spend too much time on really anything. Just one thing at a time, acknowledge and then let it pass. And then do your, the same thing with your, what's going on up in your mind, 
all the different thoughts that are moving around up there. Check out the space that your thoughts are in, if it's kind of chaotic and busy up there or if there's a lot of space. Maybe one thought at a time. Notice if your mind wants to break free and go on a little journey outside of your room. If it does at any time, just bring it back. And then place one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly, and bring awareness to your breath. Notice the way that you're breathing at this moment. You might all of a sudden notice that your breath is deeper. But just watch your breath just for a couple of moments. Just watch it moving in and out of your body, noticing the movement, the quickness, the slowness, how big that breath is or how small that breath is. Then very slowly with every breath you take, allow the breath just to get a little bit deeper and a little bit slower. Picking your time with it, making it feel really luxurious just to breathe in this way, feeling it move in and out of your body. So our theme today is change and how our body changes, how our breath changes, no matter what we're, we're doing. Sometimes it changes dramatically with what we're doing or any events or anything that might be happening. And sometimes the, the change isn't as dramatic. Sometimes it's just something really, really subtle and we might not even notice the change until later on when we've when all of a sudden something has been disrupted and we're trying to figure it out. So through your practice today, just notice the different changes. Everything changes. We can't stop change. Things constantly change. The thing is, is that they don't stay constant forever. They're always changing. So everything is impermanent nothing's permanent so notice that through your practice today that your breath is going to change the way you feel is going to change sensations will change they're going to come and they're going to go and we don't want to become attached to any one thing you don't want to get attached to the breath or if anything feels good or if anything feels bad because it's going to change so acknowledge any of the changes when you remember to. Don't struggle or put too much emphasis on anything. Just, just notice, notice what's gonna happen. Okay, so that breath should be getting nice and full and long and full and deep and find a really nice rhythm, rhythm to it moving in and out of the body. Feeling your tummy rise, sides of the body fill up, the chest fill up, and maybe even the noticing that your back, the back of your lungs is pressing deeper into the ground and your mat as you inhale. And notice that when you exhale, how everything starts to go inwards. The belly, the sides of the body, the chest, and even the back takes up less space on the ground. Okay, and so on that next breath, bring your arms above your head and give yourself a really nice stretch. Feel yourself lengthening through the fingertips, your arms, your neck, your chest, the sides of your body, your legs, your feet, and your toes. Lengthen as much as you can. 
As you inhale, 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 and then when you can't inhale anymore, bring your arms down by your body and just take a, a breath to relax. Okay, and then on your next breath, bring your arms again above your head, giving yourself a really good stretch. Stretch it out, stretch it out, stretch it out. And as you exhale, draw your right knee in towards your chest. You might have to bend your left knee. That's perfectly fine. And put your foot on the ground. I'm just going to get myself into position. And we're going to flex both feet. So all 10 toes are pointing up towards the ceiling. This is really drawing that right knee in. And then see if you can extend the right leg all the way up towards the ceiling. You might not, you might have a nice bend in the knee and that left knee might be bent and that's perfectly fine. And then as you exhale, draw that right knee back in towards your chest. I'm gonna do that one more time. Inhale, stretch that right leg all the way up towards the ceiling, as if you're holding up the ceiling. And then exhale, draw the right knee in towards the chest. And then as you inhale, bring that right leg all the way down and stretch yourself back up. Give yourself a nice big stretch again. Reach and stretch the arms above your head. And then as you exhale, draw that left knee in towards your chest. And again, that right knee might be bent. Flex both feet if you can. And then inhale, stretch that left leg all the way up towards the ceiling. Exhale, bring that left knee in towards your chest. And inhale, stretch that right knee, left knee up towards the ceiling. And we'll do that one more time. Squeeze it in as you exhale. Inhale to lift it up. Good, and then exhale, squeeze it back in. And then bring the legs both back down and give yourself a nice big breath in as the arms reach up above your head. Reach and stretch as high as possible, lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Good, and then exhale, relax. Maybe you keep your arms down around your head or maybe they come back down along the sides of your body. Take a moment here. Let's bring one hand again to the heart, one hand to the belly. And just notice how you're breathing, if your heart is beating. If you can feel that bum 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 bum, and you can feel that breath moving in and out of your body. Okay. Then on your next breath, we're gonna move over, over onto one side, it doesn't matter what side. So into a fetal position for a moment. And then you're gonna push yourself up. And we're gonna sit up into a staff pose. So Dandanasana. So your legs are lengthened. If you need to put maybe a blanket or something underneath your knees, go ahead and do that. Entirely up to you. You want to have contact in with your sit bones. So might have you might need to move some flesh away from those sit bones so you're sitting up nice and tall. If you need to sit on a blanket so that your spine is tall, do that. You're going to flex your toes, and so the toes are going to reach right up towards the ceiling along with the crown of your head. And you're going to bring your hands right down onto either your thighs, or if you can reach your full hands down beside you, I can't quite. My arms are too short. So I'm kind of on my fingertips, so I'm just going to keep my hands on my thighs. Keep your chest open. Shoulders are soft. You're just going to close your eyes for a moment and feel that contact. And just notice how that felt to change the position that you were in. Take a few breaths here. Notice how your body's feeling, what's going on in your mind, your breath. And then open up your eyes again. And in this position, we're just going to walk ourselves forward. Walk ourselves forward a couple times on our mats. Wiggle, 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 and then walk yourselves backwards. 
Wiggle, 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 wiggle. I'm gonna do that one more time going forwards. Walk, walk, walk. You might need to get the arms in it too. <laughs> and then move yourself back. Excellent. Good. And then come to stillness again. Sit up nice and tall. Toes are pointing up towards the ceiling. Okay. Close your eyes. Check in again. You might feel some vibrations happening in the thighs or somewhere else. Notice. And then open up your eyes. We're going to put a little bit of a bend in the knees. Okay. If you want to put something underneath the knees that's okay but a little bit of a bend in the knees and we're still sitting up nice and tall we're going to bring our arms all the way out towards the sides of our body and we're going to inhale lift up the arms exhale bring those hands down towards our heart most people have done this with me before inhale to lift up and then exhale push down Okay, let's do that again. Inhale to lift. Reach up. Exhale down towards your heart. Inhale to lift. And then exhale, push down. Okay, keep it going. Inhale to lift. Exhale, hail towards your heart. This time we're going to open up and do a little cow. Opening up the chest, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Exhale, round out the back into our cat. Bring our hands together in front of us. Then inhale, lift up, rise. Exhale, push down. And do that one more time. Inhale, lift. Exhale, hands towards your heart. Open up a little cow. Push the chest out, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Exhale, round out. And then inhale, lift up. And exhale, push down. Good. I'm going to stretch out the legs again. This time I'm going to take the right leg, bend it, and then just cross it over. Okay, so that foot should, the right foot should be on the ground. You can bring it closer in if you need to, if you can. If you can't, just, just bring it to where you can bring it. You're going to hold on to the shin and sit yourself up nice and tall. If for whatever reason, if you need to lean up against the wall, that's okay too, okay? So inhale it here. As you exhale, you're going to just do a little twist. So hang on with your left hand, and we're going to take the right hand and move it behind you, somewhat behind you. It doesn't have to be directly behind you. Exhale everything out here, and then inhale, come back to center. Okay. Okay. We're going to move the arms up this time. Inhale to lift. And then exhale, twist over towards that right side. Left hand comes down onto your shin. Right hand comes down behind you. Soften through the shoulders. Exhale everything out here. Inhale, stay in this position, but just lift up a little bit higher. And then exhale, twist maybe a little bit more. Don't struggle or force it. One more time to lift. Exhale, release. And then inhale, come back to center, bringing the arms all the way back up above your body again. Good. And then bring the arms down. Okay, so take that right leg and bring it back. Do a little shake. Good. And then take that left leg and cross it over. It might not cross over exactly the same as the other foot did. That's okay. You can hug it closer if you like. Just put it where you can put it. And we're sitting up nice and tall here. Take a moment here. Okay, so keep that right hand on that, that shin. And take a breath in here. Exhale, take the left hand and just reach it back behind you. Not too far. Exhale, everything out here. And then inhale, come back to center. Okay. Exhale. Now inhale, bring the arms all the way up. And we're going to twist again towards our left side. Exhale. Right hand comes down onto the shin. Left hand comes behind you. Holding yourself here. Exhale, everything out here. Inhale, lift up a little bit taller. Soften through your shoulders. 
Exhale, settle and twist. One more time. Inhale to lift. Exhale to twist. And then inhale, come all the way back. Arms come all the way up. Good. And then exhale, bring your hands down. Good. Stretch out your leg. Stretch them out. Wiggle them around. Good. And then we're going to come over and we're going to bring ourselves into a child's pose or your version of a child's pose. Okay. So our knees are bent. You can bring something underneath your thighs if that feels more comfortable. Maybe you can make fists with you for your forehead. Maybe you can bring your forehead down. Just come into that pose however feels comfortable for you. We're only staying here for a few moments, thinking about the change. As we change, how does it feel? What's happening in our bodies, happening in our minds, happening with our breath? Remembering nothing stays the same forever. Everything changes. Take a breath here. On your next inhalation, we're going to bring ourselves into a full plank. So bring your hands onto your hands, stretch out your legs. We're not staying here for very long. Get yourself into whatever plank you can, and then walk the feet and bring yourself into a downward dog. If you need to use a chair or anything else, do that. Okay, and you can have a nice big bend into the knees. Feel yourself supported. And then we're gonna walk either the feet and the hands together or the feet towards the hands or the hands towards the feet. And we're gonna come into a little gentle forward fold, bending into the knees as much as you need to. Okay, and the head's just gonna drop. We're going to be very, very gentle here. And then inhale, press into the feet, bend the knees, and bring yourself all the way up. Reaching up as high as you can, and then bringing your hands towards your heart. So just take a moment here, close your eyes. Check again in with your body. Check in with your breath. Check in with your mind, what's happening, has it gone on a little journey yet? Noticing the changes in your body, there's already some changes. Notice what's going on. Okay, we're gonna inhale, we're gonna bring the arms all the way up. Exhale, open up your arms nice and wide and move yourself all the way down into a forward fold. Reach towards the toes, bend into the knees a lot, and then inhale halfway up. So a nice halfway lift. If you need to use a chair, go ahead, use it, whatever support you need. And then exhale, forward fold again, bend into the knees as you rise all the way back up again. Stretching yourself all the way up, and then again, bringing your hands down towards your heart. Okay, next breath. Bend into your knees, open up your arms and lift yourself all the way up. Exhale, forward bend. Reach all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward bend. And we're gonna come all the way back up again. Bend into the knees all the way up. Reaching up. Exhale, hands towards your heart. Okay, this time we're gonna inhale the arms up. Grab hold of one of your wrists, maybe the left wrist, and we're gonna side bend over towards the right side. Inhale to lift. Grab hold of the right wrist over towards the left side. Inhale to lift. And then exhale, we're gonna do a forward fold, reaching down again towards your toes. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. And then we're gonna bring ourselves all the way back up. Exhale, hands towards your heart. You're gonna root down through your right foot and come into a little tree. So that tree might be on your ankle, it might be up in your shin. Hold yourself here. OK, 
take a moment here. Good. Keeping your hands here at your heart, you're gonna take that left foot and you're gonna move it behind your right leg and you're gonna drop it down onto the ball of the foot, okay? You're gonna bring the arms all the way up above your head and then we're gonna lean over towards the right. Finding your balance here. Hold it here. If you need to hold on to something, that's okay. You might wibble wobble. Okay, and then bring those hands all the way back down towards your heart. Come back, unbend yourself. Take that left leg, see if you can come right back into tree again. Excellent. And then you're going to take that left leg and you're gonna move it back into a high lunge. Bring the arms up. Hold it here. Find yourself in a pose that you can stay. You might need to adjust that back foot. Maybe you need to make it wider and longer and lengthier. Maybe you need to bring it closer. Find a place where you can stay. Be curious enough to try different things out. We'll hold it here for one more breath so you can have a little bit of playfulness there. Okay, on your next exhale, we're going to bring the hands all the way down to the ground. You might have to really bend into it. And we're going to bring ourselves back into a plank. Your version of plank. The knees can come down if you need to. Push the ground away. Then we're going to gently lower ourselves. So the knees come down just a little bit. And then bring yourself all the way down onto your tummy. Little baby cobra. Neck is long, push it into your hands. Hands, wrists are underneath your shoulders. And then curl your toes and push yourself into a downward dog. Push yourself all the way up into a downward dog. Taking your time, doing whatever is necessary to get yourself into this position. Excellent. Okay, and then we're just going to walk our feet or our hands towards each other, coming into a forward fold. Bend into the knees, and then bring yourself all the way back up. Reaching up. Exhale, bring your hands towards your heart. Close your eyes and just take a moment there. Notice how the body was changing. That maybe the breath had changed. Maybe you stopped breathing for a moment here or there. What was going on with yourselves? Notice how everything feels. What kind of thoughts are moving around up there? And take a moment to notice how you're breathing right now. You can bring it back to that yogic breath. So the belly, sides of the body, the chest, and the back. Nice, full, deep, long breaths. Okay, on your next breath, we're going to bring the arms all the way back up again. Reaching up as high as we can. Grab hold of the left wrist. Little side bend here. Rooting down through both feet. Inhale to lift. Grab hold of the right wrist over towards that left side. Inhale to lift. And then exhale, bring your hands towards your heart. You're going to shift your weight into the left foot this time. And we're going to bring that right leg and bring it into a tree. So you might be right down here with your heel resting above the ankle, or maybe you're up here a little bit more on the shin. Or if you want to, you can bring your foot right up into the inside of your thigh, entirely up to you. Find your balance here, stand up nice and tall. Support yourself however you need to support yourself, maybe with a wall or a chair or a table if you need to. That's not cheating, by the way. It just, knows, it just shows that you have the knowledge that you know that you need to support yourself, and that's perfectly fine. We all need support. So holding yourself here, make sure you're breathing. 
And then you're gonna take that right leg and you're gonna reach it behind your left leg onto your toe. Okay, so we're like a little fallen tree here. And we're just going to bring our arms all the way up. I'm gonna bend over towards that left side. So you still have your full weight is in that left foot, ball of the right foot, and you're just gently leaning towards the left side with your arms up. If you wanna bring your arms into a different position, entirely up to you. Remember, we're not staying here very much, very long. Everything will change very, very soon. Okay, let's bring our hands back towards our heart. Straighten ourselves up. Take that right leg, bring it back into a tree. Find our balance again. Focus on something that's not moving. That really, really helps. That's called your drishti. Nice, strong focus point. Where the eyes go, the mind follows. So, focus. Okay, now you're gonna take that right leg and you're gonna reach it all the way back behind you. Now I'm gonna turn right back behind you. And again, adjust yourself. Maybe play with it. Play with the distance. Maybe you want to wiggle those toes back really far. Maybe you want to bring them a little bit closer. Again, you can be on the, your, the balls of your feet. Or if you'd like, you could even plant that whole foot down and you're more into a warrior one position. So you find out what works for you. Once you've found your balance, you've decided where your feet are going to be. Bring your arms above your head. Soften through your chest and your shoulders. Notice what's happening in your face. Are you, are you hanging on to those, uh, your tongue? Where is your tongue, in fact? Are you sticking it out or is it up in your, your top palate? Are you gritting through your teeth or do you just have a gentle smile on your face? Notice what's happening there. Take okay, one more breath here. And then exhale, we're going to lower ourselves down. So again, you just be aware of what's happening, where you need support. Bring your arms all the way down, maybe really bending into it, get your hands on the ground, and then bring yourself into a plank. Your version of plank, the knees can come down, find your plank, you can even be on your forearms. And then as you exhale, you're gonna lower yourself down. So maybe the knees come down first, gently, and then just bring yourself all the way down onto your tummy. And we'll inhale a little cobra again. And then exhale, curl your toes, and we're gonna bring ourselves back into a downward dog. So you get there however you need to get there. Okay. Exhale everything out. And then when you're ready to inhale, Walk your feet and your hands together. Coming into a gentle forward fold. Your knees can be as bent as you like. Your hands might reach down to your toes. They might not. On your inhale, bend into your knees and then bring yourself all the way back up. Reach up as high as you can. Exhale, hands again towards your heart. And take a few moments here. Breathe. Notice how your body changed through all those positions. Noticing if you're, you were breathing through those changes. Maybe you can even remember how, what your mind was doing, what, how it was acting, how it was behaving. Or maybe it ran away. I don't know. Every mind is different. Nothing's good or bad. We're not going to label anything like that. We're just going to notice differences. We're going to notice how we act, how we react, how, what happens when we change.
Okay, we're gonna shift our weight back into that right foot. This time we're gonna take that left foot and we're gonna pretend that we have a little stool in front of us and we're just gonna plant that foot on the stool. So it's not very high, it's kind of low. We're just gonna hold it here for a moment. If you need to touch your toe down, that's perfectly fine. Again, that's not cheating. Soften through your shoulders, soften through your face. This time we're gonna take that foot and we're gonna cross it in front of the right foot. Cross it over and we're right on the tiptoe of that foot. Excellent. Okay. Then you're gonna bring your arms all the way up. Bring your hands to touch up there. It's the mind-body connection soften through your shoulders. And we're going to lean towards the left side. So we're gonna feel somewhat balanced here. So the left foot is going towards the right and the upper body is going towards the left. I'm just gonna find some balance here. Maybe you need to hug your thighs a little bit more together. Maybe you need to find your drishti, your, your focal point, something to focus on with your eyes. You might feel some wiggling around here, that's okay. Take one more breath here. And then we're going to reach our bodies all the way up. Bring our hands back down to our hearts. Shift the weight back more into the right foot and then take that left foot, bring it up onto the toe and see if you can hover it again in front of you. As if you're just standing on a little block or a rock or something. And then bring that foot down right beside you. Good. Okay. Bring your arms down beside you. Wiggle your fingers around. Let's bring our shoulders up towards our ears and roll them down and back. Let's do that one more time. Wiggle the fingers, shoulders up towards the ears, down and back. Good. Then bring your hands back towards your heart. Let's shift the weight into the left leg this time. And we'll gently pick up that right foot. Might be on the toe. And then maybe we can balance having it just almost just be hovering above the ground. See if it's if just envision that there's something underneath your foot and you're just putting your foot on top of it. You might notice on this side it's that you're a little bit wiggly woggly. That's okay. Soften through the shoulders. Check out what's going on in your face. If you're making funny faces, <laughs> it's okay if you are. Okay, now take that foot, cross it in front, and plant it down. Doesn't have to be very far. It can be a little bit more forward if you like, or to the side. You find out what works best for you. And then take those arms and reach them up. Okay, soften through the shoulders. It's like a little peekaboo window. You're framing your face. In your head. Okay, and then we're going to move over towards, bend over towards that right side, just slowly, making ourselves into like a little shape here, a little rounded shape. Again, focus. Make sure you're breathing. Gentle smile, finding that balance and the support with your upper body going one direction. And the other leg, your right leg going in the opposite direction. So creating somewhat of a balance here. Hold it here. One more breath. Nice full breath. Good. And then bring your whole body up to center again. Bring your hands back towards your heart. Take that right leg, bring it back, and see if you can hover it for a moment. Wiggle woggle, <laughs> that's okay. Hold it there. And then plant it right down beside the other foot. And then bring those arms down, wiggle the fingers again. Bring the shoulders up towards your ears, roll them down and back. 
Do that again, wiggle the fingers, shoulders up towards the ears, round down and back. Let's do that one more time because it felt so good. Wiggle, 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 shoulders up towards the ears and down and back, excellent. Okay, so we're gonna inhale the arms all the way back up again. Reach up as high as we can. Let's do another side bend. Side bend, rooting down through both feet. Inhale to lift. Exhale, side bend. Inhale to reach. Good. Keeping your arms up there. We're going to shift the weight again into that right leg, and we're going to bring that left leg back. Bring it back where you can find balance again. We've done this before. Okay, now bring your hands towards your heart. Pushing your hands together. We're going to twist towards the right side. Twist towards that bent knee. Do a little twist here. Twist. Yeah. And then inhale to come back. Good. We're going to do that one more time. Exhale, twist towards the right side. Maybe you can hold it here. Maybe you can bring the arms out. And then maybe we can bring the hands back together and then come back to center. Good. Inhale the arms all the way back up. And then take a step forwards. Bring the hands back towards your heart. Okay, take a breath here. Shift the weight into the left foot this time. Pick up that right leg and reach it right back. Inhale those arms all the way up, reach. So find your high lunge on this side. In fact, I'm gonna change sides here. Okay, exhale, bring your hands towards your heart. I'm gonna do a little twist towards that left side. So twist, We're not gonna go very far. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, twist again towards that left side. This time, maybe we can stretch out our arms. Good, then bring your hands back together and then come back to your center. Bring the arms, reach them all the way up. Take a big step forwards, plant your both feet and bring your hands back towards your heart. Okay, and go all the way down onto the ground again. So inhale the arms all the way up. Exhale, forward fold. Reach down towards your toes. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands. Let's see if we can get all the way back down into a plank. And then lower yourself all the way down onto the ground. Onto your tummy. Okay, we're going to take our hands and clasp our hands behind us. On your inhale, you're just going to push down through your lower body and you're going to inhale your upper body up. You can bring your arms up if you like to. And then exhale, come back down. We're going to do that three more times. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Push your lower body into the ground. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Only go to where you can go. One more time. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Good. Release your arms for a moment. Maybe just bring your hands underneath your head. Move where you need to move. Maybe wiggle your feet around. Maybe even wiggle your bottom around. Wiggle it from side to side. That'll help to release any strain that's in your back. Okay, let's clasp our hands again behind you. If this isn't working for you, you can just bring your hands in front of you or towards the sides, that's perfectly fine or just bring them onto your bottom or onto your back, okay? This time we're gonna do our legs. So you're gonna put your, either your chin or your forehead into the ground if possible. 
And on your next inhalation, you're just gonna lift up the lower, your lower body. And then exhale, bring it back down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower down. Two more times. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower down. And last time, inhale to lift. Exhale, lower down. Okay, relax yourself, bring your arms down. Wiggle however you need to wiggle. Maybe your bottom from side to side. Okay, and then we're gonna put those two things together. So bring your arms again on your back, clasping your hands. Your forehead's on the ground and your tops of your feet are on the ground. On your inhale, you're gonna push your pelvis and your belly button into the ground and you're gonna lift up your upper and lower bodies. And then exhale, slowly bring yourself back down. We're gonna do that three more times. Inhale to lift. Try to keep your neck in line with your spine. Exhale, lower down. Two more times. Inhale to lift. Exhale, lower down. Last time, inhale to lift. Exhale, lower down. Bring your arms down, bring them underneath your head. And just sway your bottom from side to side, just doing little wiggles. Side to side. And then just allow yourself to rest. You have your head turn in one direction. Move your head in the opposite direction. Just take a moment here just to soften. Okay, bring your head back to center. You're going to push with your hands up and you're going to bring yourself into a child's pose. Okay, your version of a child's pose. So if you need to use a cushion or a pillow or anything underneath your thighs or underneath your knees, you have to support your head. Do so with your, your hands or a block or a pillow or a blanket, whatever you need to do. Your arms can be out in front of you or perhaps they're behind and you're holding on to your heels. Softening through your shoulders. And just take a few breaths here. Coming back to that yogic breathing. This time feeling it a little bit more through the back of your lungs. And now on your next breath, you're going to push yourself up. Wiggle yourself around until you're on your bottom. And then lie down onto your backs. If you need a, something underneath your head or neck, do so so your neck is in line with your spine. You're going to take your right leg and cross it over your left leg. So it's kind of like a little pretzel. So they might be, it just might be at the ankle, it might be an upper, upper thigh, or just might be in the knee. So just cross that over. And then you're gonna take the left arm and cross it over the right arm. So eagle arms and eagle legs lying down. You're just gonna hold this for a minute. You can tuck the elbows in closer towards your chest, or you might wanna raise, raise the arms up a little bit having your fingers touch the ground above your head. 
just hold that for a moment. On your next breath, unwind the arms, unwind the legs. Notice the change in your body. And then do the same thing on the other side. So the right, left leg's gonna cross over the right leg, wiggling around into like a pretzel shape, either at the ankle, the knee, or the thigh. And then we're gonna take the right arm and cross it over the left arm into eagle arms. And those elbows can be hugged in towards the chest, or maybe the fingers want to drop above your head onto the ground. It's going to feel totally different on this side. Notice what's going on in your body, how your body feels, what's going on in your mind, and what's going on with your breath. Lots of stuff has happened. There's a lot of changes going on. Take one more breath here. And then unwind the arms. Unwind the legs. And we're going to just stretch them out for a moment. Give yourself a nice little stretch. Then bend the knees. And you can open up your arms into a T. And then allow those knees just to drop down over towards the right side. And this making any adjustments that you need to make so you can come into a nice, gentle twist. Your head can go in any direction that feels comfortable for you. Try to allow the shoulders just to rest on the ground, if at all possible. You don't want to struggle here. We're not trying to create any mess <laughs> or stress or strain or anything we're just trying to come into a nice gentle twist the spine likes twists we'll stay here for a couple of breaths When you're ready, bring your head back to center, bring the knees back to center, lifting them up, and hold yourself here just for a moment. Once your body's readjusted, you can drop the knees down over onto the left side. Again, making any movements or adjusts adjustments that you need to make to your body to become comfortable here and maybe turn your head in the opposite direction if that feels good and just allow yourself to settle here for a few breaths remember when we're not trying to strain or struggle with this pose we're just trying to Allow the spine to twist into a very comfortable place. Let's do one more breath here. And then when you're ready, bring your head back to center. Bring your knees back to center. And just stay here for a breath or two, just to allow the body to readjust itself. And then when you feel comfortable enough, you can extend your legs and bring yourself into your Savasana. So the arms can come down by your sides, maybe a little bit outwards a little bit with your palms face up. Legs towards the corners of your mat and just allow the heels just to to slide inwards, the toes slide away from each other. You might want to wiggle around until you get totally comfortable. If you need a blanket or anything else, go ahead and use whatever you need to use to allow yourself to come to a nice, relaxed place.
This is the time when you let go and release what isn't serving you at this moment. To allow your rhythm of natural breathing to totally take back over. Soften through your muscles and your joints. Very peacefully bring your awareness to all that surrounds you. Picking on up the senses of you, what you hear, what you feel, what you perhaps smell. And then allow your breath to deepen. Bring some movement back into your body. Wiggle your fingers, toes. Maybe moving your head from side to side. Lean back in tune with yourself. And then give yourself a nice little stretch. Point your toes, reach your arms away from you. Stretch out your whole body, ready, getting right into those muscles and bones and joints and tissue. And then roll yourself over onto a fetal position just to take a few more breaths. Just easing yourself back. And then pushing yourself up into a seat. And finding yourself into a comfortable seat. Just placing your hands on your lap or by your heart. Taking a few moments just to review, reflect your practice today on all the changes that happened in your practice. The way that every time that you moved, your breath changed, muscles changed on the way they reacted. They behaved in different manners as maybe you changed sides of your body. In the way that you moved, your breath changed. 
your facial expressions changed. And that your mind was constantly moving as thoughts came in and out. Some of, some of them you probably acknowledged, some of them you might not have been able to. Some of them came really, really quick. Some of them stayed. But there was a constant change happening in the mind. Constant change with the breath. Constant change in the way that you moved. Let nothing, nothing stay permanent. And then just taking a moment just to acknowledge all that you've learned today about your practice, about yourself and the way that change happens and how you can bring what you've just learned into your daily life. How your reactions to what happens that you're totally in control of most of the time. And let's close our practice today, bowing our heads giving ourselves lots and lots of gratitude for showing up, for being here, for practicing, for opening up our minds, for learning. And we'll finish the practice with one ohm together. So take a breath in through the nose. Fill your lungs up and let it out. Breathe in for one ohm. Oh, Namaste.